In this video, I will show you how to create a dark mode for your Next.js project. Here we have this simple page with some texts and buttons. And as we transition between light and dark mode, you can notice how smooth it is. We are going to create this just in a few minutes and I will be explaining every single line of code along the way. So let's get into it. So to start the project, just create a new folder on your desktop and open it inside VS Code. Here I have my empty folder. First, we are going to create a next project. Here is the command to create a Next.js project. npx create next app at latest. Let's copy this and paste it to your terminal and let's run it. To keep things simple, we are just going to say yes to every single one of these questions. It is going to take a couple of seconds to set the project up. And the project is created. Let's see. Project is inside this folder named my app. Let's cd into my app. And this is how the project looks like. And here is the app folder. This is the folder that we are going to work on. But before we start, there are some packages that we need to install. The first one is called Next Themes. This is basically the package that we are going to use to create the dark mode. And also to create a dark mode toggle button, we're going to use two icons. And for these two icons, we're going to use React icons. So let's install that as well. And we have installed the two packages. Also, we are going to use a button from ChatCN. So we need to install ChatCN as well. Let's click on Docs and Installation. We are using Next.js. So let's click on Next.js. So this is the command to initialize ChatCN inside our project. Let's copy and paste it into our terminal. Just hit enter for all of these questions. If you get this error, don't worry about it. This is just because we are using the latest version of React. Just select use force. And we have installed ChatCN as well. Finally, let's find the button that we are going to use. This is the command to add a button using ChatCN. Let's copy and paste it. And we have installed the button as well. Now we can run this project on the browser using npm run dev. Let's click on this localhost 3000 using alt click. And here is the project. So before we start to create the dark mode, let me go over some of these changes we have made inside our project. The first thing you will notice is this component folder. And we have this button.tsx over here. This is the button that we have installed using ChatCN. You can actually see the variants such as default, destructive, outline, ghost, link, and the sizes as well. And here is the button component. We are going to use this button by importing it. This folder and utils.ts is also coming with ChatCN. Now let's go into page.tsx and clean everything up. I will delete this entire div and return a new one that says hello world. We don't need this image as well. And this is how it looks. Now we can start to create the dark mode. So to create the dark mode, first we are going to go into this layout.tsx file. You can think of this file as a index.html file for Next.js. Here we have this root layout that returns a HTML with a body. And this children basically represents everything that you are going to create inside this body. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to use Next Themes to create the dark mode. To use it, we need to import something called theme provider from next themes and we are going to use it by wrapping the children and in this way we are basically enabled dark mode using next themes in our website we need to set the attribute to class because we are using tailwind classes so one of the most useful properties is enable system this basically detects if the user who is visiting the website using dark mode or light mode in their system. So right now I'm using Windows 11 with dark mode. If I visit this website for the first time, it is going to detect that I'm using dark mode. And by using default theme system, 
it is going to set the default theme for that user as dark mode. So it basically chooses to render in dark mode or light mode depending on your system choice. Also, let's use suppress hydration warning on the HTML to stop any hydration warnings. And this is it with the layouts.tsx. We can close that off. So now inside page.tsx, we can create our layout. Let's start by making this div a container by setting it to minimum edge screen, which makes this div cover the entire page. Let's make it a flex container to center the items inside. Set the background white. And when it's dark mode, we're gonna make it black. Text is also going to be black by default. And when it's dark mode, it is going to be white. Let's use transition all and duration 300. So this is going to make the transition between light and dark mode smooth. Inside, I'm gonna create another div and set the maximum width to 3x large. Center the text and put some space between them using space Y10. Let's have this H1. Let's make it a lot bigger and set the font to semi bold. Right under it, gonna have this paragraph with some lorem text. Under the paragraph, gonna have a div. And inside this div, you're gonna have two buttons that will come from ShadCN. Don't forget to import it at the top like this. Let's say button one and button two. We can also set the variance to secondary. Let's put some space between them using space X2. And this is basically the layout that we are going to use. Only thing left is to create a toggle button for dark mode. Inside the app folder, create a file named theme toggle.tsx. At the top, let's use use client because this is going to work on the client side. Let's create a function and export it named theme toggle. It is going to return a button, the same button that we used before from ShadCN. Let's import it at the top. I'm gonna set the variant to outline, size to icon. So it is going to be small. I'm gonna make it a circular button, so rounded full. Inside, we're gonna have two buttons. So FA Sun, this is gonna come from React icons as you can see. And we're gonna have FA Moon. Let's import them like this. It is going to be positioned absolute, height and width 10. To create a cool animation, gonna set the rotation to zero, scale to 100, and when it's dark mode, it is going to rotate by 90 degrees and also going to be smaller. Let's copy and paste this for the other one. This time, rotate is gonna start from 90 degrees and the scale is going to be zero, so it is not going to be visible. And when it's dark mode, it is going to rotate back to zero and scale is going to be 100. So in this way, when you transition between light and dark mode, you're gonna have these animations on these icons. And of course, the most important part is to make this button change the theme of the website. You're gonna do it by using a hook from Next Themes. It's just like use state, but instead of using a array, we use a object. So theme, set theme, use theme. Make sure you import it at the top like this. And we're gonna use this set theme setter function on the button using a on-click event handler. So when you click on this button using set theme, we are basically going to reverse the current theme. So if it's light mode, we are going to set it to dark. And if it's dark, we are going to set it to light. Let's use this inside our page.tsx, right under this two buttons. And now let's see if it's working fine. And there you go. The switch between dark and light mode is pretty smooth. And also these ShadCN buttons that we used 
we never styled them because they have their own stylings according to the theme if it's light mode they automatically change color and text color as well so this is how we can create a light and dark mode for your Next.js project I hope you guys find it helpful and enjoyed it thank you for your time and see you on the next video